I'm so excited to show you how to make these beautiful angel wings using a pedal very similar to the pinwheel pedal, but with a twist. All of the supplies are linked in the description of this video. Let's get started. So first, I have a sheet of plastic canvas. You want to use the five mesh, not the seven mesh. Then I am using these carrot forms that I made in place of the carrot wreath forms from Dollar Tree. If your Dollar Tree still has carrot forms, snatch them up. If not, I have a video on how to make your own. Or if you don't want to make your own, I have some for sale on my website. Next, I'm going to take a Sharpie and trace the form onto the plastic canvas. Once that's done, cut it out and we'll attach it to the carrot forms using four inch zip ties. Okay, so I have this six inch wire wreath form that I got from Joanne Fabrics and I painted it white. Um, then I cut a circle in the uh, plastic canvas. Again, it, this is the five mesh. I cut it around the outside because guess what? I'm going to turn this upside down and use it this way, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna attach this with four inch zip ties and then I will show you how I'm going to attach it to each carrot wreath form to make angel wings. I'm gonna use the four inch mark on the cutting mat. I'm gonna use that as a guide and I want the tops to be kind of right there, okay? because I'm gonna go one inch down and I'm gonna make sure to, I'm gonna use crossbar kind of to real, know that that's my center. And if you think about it, this is gonna be where we're gonna hang, the back of this is where we're gonna hang the wreath. So we don't wanna, we wanna make sure that we have the open part there, not a crossbar, okay? But I have it up to this, I'm gonna go down just one inch. I want the top of the six inch form to be one inch down from the tops of these forms. Make sure we are at the six inch or the four inch mark. Yeah, I wanna turn this over. And then I'm going to use four inch zip ties to kind of tie these together right where the, this form meets this form, okay? On both sides and down here also, okay? So that is actually more like maybe an inch and a half down from the top, but I think it'll still work. Okay, yeah, I like this being about an inch and a half down. I'm gonna tighten that up. And then I'm gonna, from the front, I'm going to try to use some of this plastic canvas with this form just to stabilize this a little bit more. I'm going to put some zip ties on the plastic canvas of the carrot form or the wing, we'll just say, and the six inch form just kind of right there on either side because right now the wings are flapping. We don't want them to flap. So I'm gonna go ahead, kind of go down through here and back up just through the plastic canvas and it's attached to the form, the six inch form behind it. And nobody's gonna see this, it's gonna be covered It'll 
just give it that extra stability that we're looking for that we kind of need. Okay. And see there's there's no more flapping. So we're pretty good. Okay? Okay, so first and foremost, I am using a 10 inch roll of white poly burlap mesh. I'm using this wood burning tool. You can see I have a chisel tip on this. Uh, when you are using a wood burning tool, make sure that you are have good ventilation and um, and or you are wearing a very good mask this can put off uh, some toxins that is not very good for your lungs so it's probably in your best interest to um, wear a mask or have very good ventilation but anyhow what I am going to do normally I would cut all of my mesh at 10 inches I'm going to cut this right here is my 10 inch mark I'm going to cut this at like 10 and a quarter just slightly longer than the 10 inches and I'm just going to do a couple here just to show you what I'm doing because the petals that I'm going to make for the left wing is going to be different than the petals that I make for the right wing. Uh, they're going to be exact opposites. Okay, I'm going to make a petal that we are going to put on the left wing because the left and the right wings, uh, they're going to have petals facing different ways. So this first one, I have the finished edge on my top left. I'm going to bring this up and I'm going to leave just a little bit of this unfinished edge. Bring it right underneath that. Okay. I mean, we're leaving an eighth of an inch. Okay. The finished edge is on the top, okay, on this right side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fuse this together. I learned this from watching Julie's Reef Boutique. She did this in one of her petals. I'm just going to go all the way down. We're not going to be too concerned of what it looks like here at the bottom. Okay. So there we have this side is fused together and then this side is open. I'm going to put this where the long side is to my right. Okay. The fused side is on the top. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to leave about an inch. Okay. Then I'm going to tuck this in and scrunch. Then I'll take a zip tie. You can use a rubber band, whatever you would like. And tie it shut and there you go see how it has that almost like a pinwheel it has that pinwheel form but you got two of them going along like this okay and then we're going to do the same thing but opposite for the right for the right side for the right wing I'm going to put I have the finished edge on the right hand side on the top and I'm going to bring that down. OK, 
kind of like the same thing. Kind of bring that up towards the top, but not all the way. And we have this right here. The finished edge is on the top on the right. So I am going to fuse those together with the wood burning tool. So we have that fused side. And just to make it easier on me because I scrunch with my right hand, I'm gonna turn that around. I'm gonna bring this down. So I have the finished edge. Again, that's not gonna be popping out. I'm gonna have, leave about an inch right there okay flip it under and then scrunch from the pointed side to the flat side take a zip tie again you can use a rubber band and tie it shut And there you go. This is going to be facing this way. And you can see the, the ones for the left wing are facing one way. The right wing is facing the other. Okay, so what I went ahead and did, I took each wing, kind of went from the center of the bottom to the center of the top and drew a line just to kind of make sure I realize exactly where the, the center is for each wing. Then made sure they were lined up and I kind of screwed up, but go with the two inch mark, four inch, six inch, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be going every two inches, I'm gonna be putting these petals on. So. Let's get started putting the petals on. I'm going to go ahead and put my very first one on. This is going to go with the two inch mark right in the center. And there you go. You can see I have this going to the left side. The finished side is going towards the outside of the wing. So I'm gonna do this over here. I'm gonna go two inches up. Kind of go around the form right there. Okay, so I stopped here, two reasons. Uh, first reason, I ran out of uh, petals 
and I had to make more. Second reason, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this. I'm going to just keep going where I think I should. We'll see if it works. And um, if it does, then I will try to mimic the right side the same way. So let's keep going. We want these bottom ones to go above these ones. I don't know if I should go from the top down to do it that way. I'll tell you what, I'll probably put the next one here. So I'm going to put one up here. I'll do that first. So I'm going down. So I'm not fooling with these too much. I'm going to go just right above this here again we're going to go at a slight angle and I should be going top to bottom so I'm going to try going top to bottom <laughs> again I'm liking this so far though. Just need to put a couple more in here and I think I'll do a few more right here. So I think I need another five more. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I got six more petals made. Just hopefully that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna keep going down this way. Got one more here. don't want to put anything more right here we're gonna have flowers here but I want to have uh, just a little bit kind of going I want to see the tails I think that should be good okay so I only needed four of the six that I made so I'm going to attempt to do the same on this side and let's see how that goes okay so now I'm gonna try the right side and let's see how this works let's hope they match up And you know what, it's best to go right to left since we want to put that finished side on top. So 
Got to remember to do right to left instead of left to right. I have to show you where I am so far. <sighs> I think this looks fantastic. I am really loving this. From this point, you can do so many different things. You can put uh, a sign on there with somebody's name. Um, you can put a bow, just a, a nice big bow on here. I'm going to do uh, some flowers and some greenery. We'll see how that works. Um, hopefully that's enough. If that's not enough, I might add a bow. Who knows? But this is where I'm at right now. I thought I would show you so you know what, it would, what it's supposed to look like before I add anything else on. So there you go. Let's get some flowers put on it now. Okay, so first of all, I am going to put in some zip ties. I'm gonna do, I think three, one, two, and three, um, just to kinda, so we have a little bit of balance so we don't have too much in one zip tie. And then I'm gonna just glue some more stuff down to whatever I put in here. So, um, if I decide to put in more zip ties just to make sure it's good and secure, I might do that. I haven't decided yet, but. I got these from Joanne Fabrics, I believe last year. Um, I have not seen anything like these this year at my local one, so, but I'm gonna put one of these kind of inside each of these zip ties. Okay, and then I also got these at Joanne Fabrics I really like this because it's um, a lot lighter. It has like that dusty look. 
and I didn't want to go anything too bold in here. And then I'm going to add some of this. I believe this was Hobby Lobby. That going through here. And some of these I've cut down, some of them I left. A whole stem. I got my hot glue gun. I'm going to hot glue what is in there down. And then I'm also going to add even more because even though this is beautiful, it's not going to be quite enough. piece of cardboard underneath there make sure I don't get glue onto my mat This stuff I actually got from Walmart last year. And it's just some more like almost like baby's breath. I think it's gypsum. I'm not sure, but just add a few sprigs of that. Okay, I'm going to take pictures, see if I like it the way it is, and I may add a little more pink, I may, who knows, I'm, I may even ha add a couple sprays coming down through here, we'll see, but I'm going to take pictures and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like whenever I'm done. Okay, so I was playing with the idea of putting some of this stuff through the wings going down. You can barely see it, but I think it just kind of gives it a little extra oomph. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those in. I actually really like that look. So this is the end result. What do you think? 
I love these flowers. I think they're just beautiful. And I just added just that little bit of that gypsum or whatever that stuff, kind of like a baby's breath. Kind of added that through the wings. Just a couple of them. Just to kind of, I don't know, it just, I think it really kind of, it just seemed like the, the greenery was going through the wings, kind of. So I'm really, really liking this. Um, this is, you know, from the sides here. I think it looks really good. So I'm happy with it. I hope you are happy with it too. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Patty Davis. I'm with Crooked Tree Creations and I will see you again.